Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to be going through another episode of Hey eBuzz. This one's about a comment that I received from a viewer that basically said specialty distros are crap and they suck. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like our videos and you like what the channel's doing, you can support us by buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. First thing I want to do is go ahead and pull up the comment. And what this is in reference to is I've done some recent videos covering Ubuntu Studio, Fedora Design Suite, AV MX Linux, basically distributions that come packed with tools that you can use out of the box. This is what the comment stated, and this was in reference to Ubuntu Studio. It's not a distro for creative people. It's a distro for people who want a bunch of apps on their system that they have no idea how to use or what they are. It's a distro built on top of a good distro, Debian, and then they download a crap ton of bloat. Nothing new here. Just install Debian and then download the apps you actually need and skip all the resource hogging. Okay, my first statement I want to make is, how is having apps on your system a resource hog? Sure, it takes up disk space, whether it's a hard disk or an SSD, but how is that hogging resources? And to me, specialty Linux distros are very important to the community. I mean, if you just go look at a few of them that are out there, you have five specialized Linux distros with unique features. Arch, Arco Linux is a great distribution. Sim Network, Live Razo is a great distribution. Linux with a Mac skeleton, Gobo Linux. Linux for people with disabilities, Accessible Coconut, Linux for the Earth, Bodhi Linux. And then you have distributions like Ubuntu Studio. You've got Fedora Design Suite, AVL MXE, the AV Linux MX distribution that Bandshed uses. They do it for professional purposes. And then you've got, of course, penetration testing. It'd be Backbox. Black Arch, Kali, Parrot Security, Pin2. I know a lot of people say those are hacking distributions. Well, they're also good if you want to protect your organization and what you're doing in your organization. That's a protection. Okay. I don't think what people understand is when you buy Windows, it comes and you have it. That's all. You have a few little tools you can use, but that's it. Everything else you need to either find an open source alternative that will run on Windows or buy it, pay for it, okay? So I'm going to minimize this and go back to his second comment because I did respond to him and said, actually, there are people that are in production, whether it be audio, video, or graphic design that use all of those tools. I agree with you. It is a bloated distribution. But if you're a person that needs those tools and they're already there and you don't have to spend hours downloading, it's pretty good. He came back and said, very few people actually use all of those tools. I dare say nobody uses all of those tools, and it doesn't take hours to download the tools you need unless you live somewhere there is still terrible internet. However, I do understand that there is a huge market for crap like Ubuntu Studio because look at how many people are still using Windows or Mac. I'm not surprised people are interested. Let's go ahead and cover this real quick. Let's go back up here to Ubuntu Studio. If you watched my review of Ubuntu Studio... All the tools that come in Ubuntu Studio, when you download it, are there and ready to use. Period. Has nothing to do with being like Mac or Windows, because if you download Mac or Windows, none of those tools are coming with Mac or Windows. You have to go buy them. You have to pay for them. They are not open source. Now, you can find open source alternatives online if you do your research, and then you can go download those. Okay? Another point I would like to make. If... These distros are a waste of time, and nobody uses these tools. Why are the distros still around? These distros just aren't being made and being updated and kept going by people that don't use them. Ubuntu Studio would not exist unless people are using it. And I know if you're watching this video, you know Linux. There have been distros that come and go. People will make a distro, put it out there. If it's not being used, it's done. The developers stop developing it. There's no support for the distribution, and it disappears. Ubuntu Studio has the support. Ubuntu Studio has plenty of tools 
that people are using, know how to use, and use on a daily basis. So I think what we got to do as a community and what we've got to understand as a community, because I do understand what he's saying here, but he is somebody that doesn't use these tools. He is somebody that has a specific mindset on what his operating system is going to do for him. But there are other people out there that have different things that they have to do, not only for their business or their hobby, and these tools are important to them, and these tools are being used. So I think when you look at a video and you say, why would you need that? Or nobody's going to use that. You don't have a grasp of who is using Linux tools, who is using Linux distros. Your distro is right for you. My distro is right for me. Whoever's watching this video is running a distro that is right for them. That's the beauty of Linux, because just like you said, Windows and Mac, when you download Windows or Mac, that's what you're stuck with. You don't get the tools that come with a lot of Linux distributions. You can get a lightweight distribution. If that's going to work for you, it's going to work for you. But if you're somebody that needs distributions like Fedora Design Suite or Ubuntu Studio or AVL MX Edition, that's going to work for you. They're not downloading them and not using them. They're being used on a daily basis. So, in closing, specialized Linux distros don't suck. They're not crap. People are using them and they love using them. And the beauty of it is they're using Linux and not Mac or Windows. Tell me what you think down below in the comments. Before you leave today, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like this video and like what the channel's doing, you can support us by buying us a cup of coffee. Or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are down below in the description. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next video.